Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make banana ice cream. What you're going to need is a cutting board with a knife, some Tupperware, and also a blender. Now, I use Blendtec, but it really does not matter what blender you use. So for a single serving, you're only going to need three bananas. Now, you want to make sure they're as ripe as possible because the riper the banana is, the easier it is for your stomach to digest it. Now, what you're going to do with them is you're going to chop them up into coin-sized pieces. That way, when we put them in the blender, they're not that difficult to blend up. You might be wondering, why bananas? Well, a lot of people, including myself, have a hard time digesting ice cream. It's just the lactose. It's usually dairy in general, a lot of people have a hard time digesting and with banana ice cream, it's so much better for you and you can have as much as you want. All right, and now let's get the rest of the banana pieces in there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our coin shaped pieces that we've put in the Tupperware and put them in the freezer. I find that generally you have to do it overnight um, or at least give them about 10 hours to freeze, or they might get a little mushy and make a weird consistency. All right, and as you can see, we have our frozen bananas here in our pieces. Now, for real, if they're not frozen enough, you'll find that it makes a really kind of gross consistency. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put our bananas in our blender, and you'll find that you might need to push them down to be able to get them to reach the blade. All I do is I just put it on the first setting and I let it chop away. Now, you'll notice, of course, that it doesn't really make the ice cream consistency we're looking for right away. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to take off your lid, push the banana bits down towards the blender again. That way it has an easier time reaching it. And then I just start it again and then I just keep pushing down with my spatula. And as you can see here, we're starting to get more of a creamy consistency. The best way to indicate when your ice cream is done or close to getting done is it will start to turn white. I've actually noticed that if it's not processed down enough, it actually tastes more banana-y. And as you see, we get our pretty ice cream consistency here. Mm, it's delicious. Now, I use the Tupperware as size reference. It doesn't seem like it makes a lot, but you might actually find that it's pretty satisfying that amount. But of course, you can always make more. And that's how you make banana ice cream. Pretty, huh?